Is this the happiest country in the world? <laughs> I come from the second happiest country in the world if we look at the statistics, which is Denmark. The people are indeed happy in general here in Denmark. <laughs> I'm from Denmark. Free education? Yeah. 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 Easy for anybody to get the same things as each other. Biking culture. Yes. Happiness is real in Denmark, no doubt about it. But perhaps our smiles or way of being don't show too much happiness in our faces. But there's not too much to worry about in my country, which I guess makes people happy. However, we have quite a high use of antidepressant medication. So are we really the second happiest country in the world? Good question. Anyway, I've also visited the happiest country in the world according to the statistics. Welcome to Finland. Not only one, but four times. Finland is the number one happiest country in the world for the sixth year in a row. However, the winters are really cold and dark here. And the smiles of the people are even smaller than they are in Denmark. Uh, which is not even that big, trust me. Yeah. Happy. Oh. Yes, if you come here in summer, you will be seeing happy people. Definitely not this time of year. And maybe it's not real happiness in Finland, more like being content with life. It's actually the most content. Finns are friendly, sociable and happy people. And in Finland, joking with someone or even, even at someone's cost is the Finnish way of saying I like you. Such a happy place. However, Finland also has a pretty high suicide rate. So even though it's a really well-functioning and awesome country with a lot of happy people, there's also some sort of contradictive information about the happiness level in Finland. I don't know, yet again, it's hard to measure that. You know, Finland is the happiest country in the world. Why are people so happy here? Like you know, maybe they're just tired. When we're tired, you just sound happy, you know? Maybe people are just tired, that's a good one. So they're just like, mm, might as well be happy. And then I went here to this country and felt genuine happiness for the first time. <laughs> Peace, harmony and tranquility. It seemed like the majority of the population felt this way with their huge smiles and simple way of living. <laughs> it just felt so different here. This is Bhutan. <laughs> my name is Gustav Rosted. I have traveled the world for 11 and a half years, and Bhutan is my country 182 to visit. Bhutan! <laughs> How do you say thank you? Okay. Hello in Bhutan. Hello in Bhutan, Germany. How do you say hello? Kususam. Uh, Kususam. Kususangpo. Kususangpo. And I've met all kinds of people on my journey. Also, I've done street interviews in more than 100 countries. One of the biggest social studies done worldwide by a single person. Where I've tried to learn about the state of a country and its people. To know if they're happy in the country or if they have some sort of dissatisfaction and also relations between the countries by asking people which country they like and which country they don't like. Many countries have some sort of enemy, rival or annoying neighbor country. Like if you ask Irish people, they probably won't say England, but... England? I just don't know how to drink. <laughs> England? That's uh, alright. No? I mean, most countries have historical reasons or other reasons to dislike another country and maybe feel a little bit of anger in their hearts. But I didn't feel this anger here in this country. This is so different from anything I've seen before. Bhutan is honestly the first country out of more than 100 countries where I have interviewed the local people where I felt like all the answers I got from the population were completely neutral. <laughs> and that hate is not a word that you'll find in the Bhutanese dictionary. Do you have any country you don't like? I don't have. I know. I like every country. I spent a week here with my Gus on the Go expedition in this super fascinating yet very expensive country to visit. And that's a good reason why they make it expensive here. <laughs> so guys, are you happy here in Bhutan? Yeah, yeah. we are yeah. very much happy. Jeju! 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 These are the people who joined me in the world's happiest country. Elizabeth from Belarus. Giuliano from Brazil, Reem from Egypt slash USA, and Cynthia from Brazil. It was time to explore Bhutan. Okay guys, we are going to Bhutan now, a very difficult airport to land on. Yeah, so it's a mountainous country, so it's not going to be easy for the pilot. Very close to the Himalayas. Yeah. You ready? Excited. Yeah, same okay. Yeah, we're going. 
You are the first person I meet from Bhutan. Oh. Oh, everyone. Uh, everyone. But the first I talk to. Oh, my God. <laughs> Welcome to Bhutan. I think Thank we are all welcome. People speak good English in Bhutan? Yeah. 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 Okay. Perfect. We can communicate. We can understand. That's great. It's the most beautiful airport building I've ever seen in Bhutan. Finally, country 182. And already feel here that the air is next level. The cleanest air I've ever experienced. It's so crazy. Let me break down the economy of a visit to Bhutan. Since 2022, tourists have to pay $200 per day for a sustainable development fee. Plus, a daily fee will be on top of this, which is charges for accommodation, food, transport, entry to sites, and fees for guides. So now we are closer to around 500 bucks per day. I'm from Bhutan. I'm in the country of some of the happiest people in the world, Bhutan, the kingdom of Bhutan. And uh, yeah, I've been really excited for this country uh, already now here in the immigration. The people were super friendly and nice and with a big smile. Welcome to Bhutan. No hassle, no questions. It's great. How was immigration? Easy peasy. So easy, right? So easy. Yes. First steps in Bhutan. Here we are, Bim. Yes. Hello. Hello, Bim. Hello. Hello, Bim. Nice to you. You look very sharp, Bim. Very sharp. I like your outfit. Nice outfit, yeah. Thank you. Hello, Hi, Juliana. Man. How are you? Nice to meet you. I like your clothing. Very, yeah. is it patriotic? Traditional sound. Yes. Welcome to Bhutan. Thank you. Welcome to Bhutan. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Beautiful souvenir. Yeah. Action. Welcome to Bhutan. Thank you, Bim. We welcome the very important person like you all. Oh. Ah. Uh, you are more important than us. Just had this scarf as a welcoming for important persons apparently in Bhutan. The locals are dressed really stylish. Hopefully we'll wear some local attire very soon. And it feels great to be here. Fresh air, beautiful country. Can't wait to explore. One very important thing in Bhutan is to stay hydrated. Yeah. Not only one bottle, but two. <laughs> the source of happiness. Bhutanese water. Gain peace of mind by supporting a carbon negative country. In fact, the only carbon negative country in the world. Gustav. Gustav, yes. We have a two SIM card. I have two? Yes. Okay. So other we'll get from town. Okay. okay. Maybe we'll go and we'll get a SIM card. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Really? You kiss the mountain? Practically. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it's one of the beautiful airport. Only one airport in Bhutan. Mm. It was established in 1982. Mm. 1982? Yes. No international plane coming into Bhutan. So we have a two airlines, one government, two gear. And other one is Bhutan Airlines, private. Mm -hmm. So we have two airlines. Mm -hmm. So no international plane coming here. Is there a lot of tourists now? Oh well. If the Bhutanese tourism model was high value, low impact before, the new model takes the idea and supercharges it. In the future, Bhutan will be reserved for visitors with big budgets who are happy to spend big for the perks of low carbon travel and not have to share these wonders with a crowd. So I'm here with Bim from Bhutan. And this is the local attire, super beautiful. What do you wear? We call it go. 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 For women, Kira. Kira. And yes. Especially in winter, we get really good aircon going from below. Oh. And we enjoy fresh. So you stay fresh, just like here. <laughs> and what is this? This is we call it a khadar. Khadar. It's khadar. So you want the happiness of the people, make the people happy. So here, you can see the life is very cool, slow life, no rush. So people, they are happy what they have. Yes, this flow running river here and the air is so exceptional. Bhutan is an isolated Buddhist kingdom on the Himalayas eastern edge. I'm from Bhutan. Known for its monasteries, fortresses or tsongs and dramatic landscapes that range from subtropical plains to steep mountains and valleys. Bhutan has a population of nearly 800,000 people and around 75% of the population are Buddhist. There are four main pillars of cross national happiness. Number one, preservation of culture. Number two, conservation of natural environment. Number three, good governance. Number four, economic development. Yeah. So these are the four main pillars of gross national happiness. With the king and the head of state and a prime minister as the head of government. Going up or down? Or... Uh, well, the birth rate is quite low in Bhutan. Okay. The Bhutanese people, they prefer to have uh, one, two children. Like in Denmark? I'm only child. Really? Only me. You have brothers and sisters? Oh yes, I have. Now generation, they prefer Less and less. Yes. This is not from the Ganges River in India. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> so clean. So fresh. So guys, this is the main town of Paro. This is where people go out 
in the street and enjoy. And yeah, I just saw a dog, it had the biggest smile. So even the dogs are happy here in Bhutan and it's uh, very traditional and cool. Hello, nice to see you. Welcome to you. Very important person like you all. You put it on your neck. <laughs> so now the full group is here. Hello. <laughs> Juliano. Mr. First Class. Dream, Egyptian American based out of Dubai. Cynthia, Brazilian, half Japanese, living in Tokyo. Nice. Elizabeth, I'm from Belarus and I'm happy to be here. <laughs> we are all very happy to be here. Yeah. Let's go, Matan. Hey, we are walking around Paro, very quiet and peaceful. No noise at all. How different is this from Delhi and India? Wow, <laughs> incomparable. <yeah. laughs> We're going to have some lunch now, and they say chili with cheese is a must try. What do people like to drink the most? Uh, traditionally, we drink Arab, that's local alcohol. Okay. So now the people did drink beer. What is Arab? Is it strong? Or? Oh, yes. It's like a sake, no? Oh. Mm -hmm. wow. Pure distilled and made from the rice. And the wheat. So now most of the people they drink beer. Is it like a shot or is it a... Yeah. Okay, I'll take one ara and one beer. One beer. So they love to drink and Bhutan. Ara, beer. Beer, whiskey, beer, brandy. It's a strong Bhutan beer. Yes. Dragon beer. Dragon beer. Drug means dragon. Six bottle that we become dragon. <laughs> dragon. <laughs> so we should take this to the hospital. <laughs> How is the beer, you know? No, it's okay, very nice. Yeah. Brazil yeah. is a Brazilian beer. Brazilian yes. Beer. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Yay. Yeah, good drink. Cheers. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> what? So, no chin chin. You know, we say chin chin in Portuguese, but means in Japanese, it's more penis. Chin chin. <laughs> That's why they look weird at me in Japan when I was saying. Yeah, it's. They drove. Yeah, they have a temple of penises there. Huh? Like, really? Yeah, okay. big ones. <laughs> Spanish and Italian is easier, and I already tried to learn Portuguese. It's very easy, yes. yeah. You can yeah. speak Spanish, no problem. Yeah. Delicious Bhutanese food and some saucy talks. Oh. <laughs> Let's try to lose weight here in Bhutan. So, this is the first lunch in Bhutan. How is it? No, amazing. Very this fresh. Here. Quite healthy. Very, healthy. So very healthy, healthy, yeah. I'm loving it. Yum. Rima's in love. Mm. Dal? Yes, dal, oh, dal, lanto. Dal. Mm. Oh, very good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Do they look like sisters? We can be. Really? Yeah, we can be. You can see now yes, everything? Yes, like I can see also. Amazing. <laughs> you ready for the hike tomorrow? Sure. She's been doing martial arts for the last month. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. No. Okay. So we'll get She's our ass kicked. <laughs> yeah, but I got many. But I'm okay now. Good. I'm losing it. All super. All super. <laughs> and Juliana, we know he's ready. Juliana is ready. Oh, curious. So far, really good first impression of Bhutan. You from Bhutan? How does it feel? Oh, very hot. So inside we have pockets, so all the things will get inside. Okay, local music playing here. Three lovely guys coming up here. Let's see if they want to talk. You'll meet a lot of uh, more handsome people. <laughs> oh, this is the most handsome. Yeah. We support uh, Denmark's example principle. You support Denmark? Yeah. Oh, I'm from Denmark. Uh, I didn't even tell you guys. <laughs> Denmark is the first country to donate us a COVID vaccine. Really? Yeah. Yes, Bhutan, that my friendship. We are now. And you lose how many calories? Oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we are physically fit. Yeah. I, I'm nearing 40. So, so I, you. I, I don't have really? We drink a lot. <laughs> and then recently I have a checkup. So my BP is perfect. It's perfect. So education has free? Yeah. Education is free, medical is free. Normal times you'll you'll not see only a few of you. You'll you see, see a lot. lot more. Yeah. So we are lucky. Yeah. And <laughs> today you don't feel that you suffer from corruption <laughs> because I come from a country that the corruption <laughs> is so strong. Brazil. Uh -huh. We call the drug bill. Drug. It's a drug. 
dragon, you miss land. So that's why we call the land of the thunder dragon. Bhutan. First beautiful viewpoint. So very smiling and sympathetic people here in Bhutan, a country half the size of the state of Indiana. Hello. Hello. Namaste, <laughs> Ginkyo. So here we have Om Mani Padme Ho. 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 Oh, it's the same. Yeah. Man. It is cold, very cold. But nice. Meditation is very important for the people of Bhutan. They say Buddhism is not a religion, it's a way of life. Hey, what? What? <laughs> oh my god. When are you falling? You're right on me. One, two, three. Bhutan! So, what is the name of this temple? Zongdraka. Zongdraka. Zongdraka Gemba. This monastery. Okay, and do people come up here and oh, yes. do meditation? Yes. It seems like a very simple lifestyle. Yes. Yes. It's good. It definitely gets more chilly the further you go up. This requires one of those like open the door everybody. Ah, really? Ah. Yeah. Go. No photos allowed inside Bhutan's temples. We are here close to Tibet, China, India, and this is where it's located. Super gorgeous looking at this valley right now. Thank you. Kadinche. Kadinche. And I love you. Nachuluga. Nachuluga. Oh. What's your name? Me, Kostao. <laughs> okay. You cannot come to Bhutan without trying the local outfits. <laughs> Reem, how's it going? I feel uh, overwhelmed. Nice color for you, this one. Very nice. Like a Barbie girl. To <laughs> The Brazilians in yellow. Linda, Linda. Yeah. Damn, boy. We bought what we needed and was almost ready to sleep. We went to our hotel now. Our hotel for the yeah. night. Tomorrow morning, it's time to go to the most iconic place in Bhutan. Now, time for some tea, relax, and enjoy. No, it's not mine. No? This is not mine. What? It's from someone. This is where we're staying. This is the mansion. Yeah, looks nice. Where do we want to yeah. stay? Which bed do you want? Well, it can be. Maybe this one. Yeah, that's right. I was thinking about look, that. Look the wow. video tomorrow. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Luxury. My heart stops beating. Are you so cold? You come from here. <laughs> bitter vegetable for a sweet girl, let's see. It's bitter. It's very it's bitter. I don't know. Is it the same vegetable or different? It's the same. Jilo. Uh, Jilo? Okay. Okay. Um, Amargo. <laughs> Let's try the infamous bitter vegetable. Have you tried before? Yeah. No? Mm. Very yummy. Very yummy, right? <laughs> Five with sauce. Let's check. Wow. Fine. 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 Yeah. They'll be healthy. That's how I, uh, healthy snack. Yeah. <laughs> I recently started okay. practicing. Just telling the truth. It's the truth. Okay, guys, follow me outside. It's 6 30 in the morning. Let's go. It's cold in the morning in Bhutan, but what a view from our hotel. Girls. Is that Brazilian style? Yeah. To be on time? <laughs> always five minutes, and I'm always the first. Wow. <laughs> always, yeah. always the first to finish. <laughs> 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 
Thank you so much. From Bhutan? Yeah. Good morning. You fresh? Yes. Clean. And clean? Nice. Are you ready to hike today? Maybe, maybe. Guys, we are now at the starting point at the Taksan. Taksan, this point. The tiger nest Taksan. And it's pretty cold. There are some local people over here. And everyone is ready to go to the tiger yes. nest. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 yeah. Ready? Of course. So take your time, take your own speed. Slow walk, just enjoy. Ready to go, girls? Yeah, my, my lips just... Need a little bit of touch up. We are excited to go. Yeah, yeah we are ready to go. Bye, bye, bye. bye. Yes, yeah, sir. I go like all countries, my dream. How far is the hike up to the Tiger Nest? You can walk faster, you can reach three hours and meet there. Okay, good. <laughs> you got scared? That's a wolf. So happy this dog. He's missing a leg. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, the scenery here is absolutely stunning. The sun is getting up. There's a lot of Bhutanese people coming in the background. A little touch of snow. Incredible. Fresh air. Follow you all the way. Hello. Have you been to the top before? It's a long way. How many minutes? Hours? Uh, one, one hour and 30 minutes. One hour and 30 minutes. It's beautiful view. Okay, so depending on who you ask, you'll get different answers on how long it takes to go to the Tiger Nest. It can take uh, five to six hours. It depends on the individual, how fast people they walk. Yeah, right. How cold is that? Um, How cold? Like minus five? No, not really. How many times have you been to the Tiger Nest? Every week. Yes. More than 100 times? In a year, 12 to 15 times. School kids, they will probably make it in one hour. Very fast. You're in good shape. When I was that age, I would do the same like them. It's so good for lungs. Yeah. Oh, the air here is so incredible. So we have a real friend following us. The dog with the three legs, he gave up. But this guy is still joining. Tiger Nest in Bhutan, can't believe I'm going there. On the way to... Tiger Nest! One, two, two, one, one, two, A lot of the way here at the tiger's nest is very narrow. You can take a dungeon. Amazing. Look at the sun. So far, it's a nice pathway, even though it's five degrees Celsius, I already took off my jacket. So t-shirt in this temperature, it's really wonderful. Look at this. Out of 43 landlocked countries, Bhutan is around half the size of the state of Indiana and one third of the population is under the age of 14. Bhutan! <laughs> this guy keeps on following us. He only stopped for these breaks, right? Are you from Paro? Uh, not from Paro, I studied there. Okay. Yeah. So you're from a small city? Or? Uh, we're from Temple. Temple? Oh, okay. The capital. Yes. How many people there? Um, I'm not really sure. Guys, is it easy for you to go climbing here? Uh, yes. We've been here multiple times. so it's. How many times? I've been here around seven, but I'm not so sure about that. So you like football in Bhutan? Yes. It's beautiful. Uh, Bhutan, beautiful. Yeah. People are so happy and kind here in Bhutan. A sweet lady just gave us this. I got a snack! Wow! Wow! It's amazing! Yeah, that's so nice! Bhutan! Where are you from? Paro? No, I'm from Punaka. Punaka? How many people in Punaka? I don't know, maybe 10 or something. <laughs> 
here exactly you can see the monastery. Still a long way to go. I love everyone. Everyone is Scott. Everyone is same. My best friend in Bhutan is still following me on the journey here. The landscape here is ever changing, very dramatic, very steep and hilly. Bhutan is such a beautiful country, really recommendable. So this dog keeps on running a little bit and then it waits for me. It's a crazy chemistry. I like all the countries. Actually, I have never been from Bhutan, outside Bhutan. You have never been outside? Yes. Do you have a passport? Yes, I have. Okay. The Bhutan, passport. Bhutan passport. Yeah. Can you travel to many countries with that passport or? Actually, I really don't know about that. No, no, okay. <laughs> so which post do you do in Bhutan? <laughs> Bhutan post you will. Bhutan post. Oh, man, the Tigerness in Bhutan doesn't get much better than this. Really worth the views. Super stunning. Actually, this one is built back in the 16th century. Do they still use it for meditation? Ah, uh, yes. Jimbolexo! I like Bhutan. <laughs> and outside Bhutan, outside. I like everyone. Get up, chachi to do. Yes. Why should people visit Bhutan? The most yeah. unique from other countries. That's right. Go. This one is go. Yeah. Yeah. No one is wearing this type of go. Yeah. <laughs> Goodness, people are wearing this. Lage. This one is lage. Official studies say that Finland is the most happy country in the world. I think that Bhutan is among the absolute happiest countries in the world. People are so happy, they're always smiling. They're so satisfied with being Bhutanese. They really don't have a lot of hatred in Bhutan. They have no reason to do so because they have a simple life. Ooh. Wild nature, stunning waterfalls, Bhutan has it all. All right, now we are entering the monastery. You need special tickets to go inside. So let's try. Tiger's Nest! You like it? All the Akikoi is a my Linda, my big pasta. I said you bigger. I said you bigger. Delicia, delicia, acido se te mata. I said you bigger. I, I said you bigger. Repa! Ginger. Oh, <laughs> keeps you young. Yeah, and it stimulates the digestion. I just asked for room temperature water, and I realized that room temperature here is like cold, like a refrigerator. What do you think? Amazing, amazing. Right? It's a treat of the life. No, I have. It is. So, what's your favorite subject? Subject. Yeah. Actually, mess. This mess, but I get low in mess. Good karma. Dharma. Cow shit. Cow shit. Putting in the cow shit. You put it in the cow shit? Yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah, I like <laughs> Australia. <laughs> Australia. All right. Thank you. <laughs> what do you think about Denmark? Denmark. You are from uh, Denmark? Yes. He's a Viking. He's yes. <laughs> a Viking. Oh, she's so strong. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Do you need help? <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> Very powerful. Beetle nut. You eat beetle nut in Bhutan? Yes. Papua New Guinea eat a lot of beetle nut. Yes. But I get a little bit. <laughs> you use lime? Yes. Yeah, okay. Some people eat more. Uh -huh. I like only this much. I eat only this much. Okay. <laughs> and then you chew it for a long time? Yeah. Spit it out at one point? No. Yeah, yeah. No, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Too kind of you. Thank you so much. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. See you. Is it true that people are very happy in Bhutan? Yeah. Why do you think? Because, like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> uh, in Bhutan, there is peace. Well, they don't have hate. It's very peaceful here. Yeah. Hello. One day. Hello. How old are you? Oh, very old. Very old. Do you like Bhutan? Yes. This is your boyfriend. No. Oh. So your name is Shiniskiska. <laughs> Shiniskiska. Shiniskiska. How I can say Joimiska. <laughs> Joimiska. <laughs> This is the mommy. Oh my god, mommy. Mommy is strong. Actually, all houses, like, they have the same style, like, from the cartoon. And in the beginning, I thought that there were only, like, in the center, a couple of buildings, but you can see them everywhere. And you need, a, like, a permission from the government to change the to, style. To, to change the style, yeah. So, you need a permission from the government, Juliana? So, I, to I like the to keep the traditions. Yes. <laughs> This is the national sport of Bhutan. 
So how long can you shoot? 145 meters. 145 meters? Are you actually able to hit the number? Yes, sir. Oh. So we need to be careful when they yeah. fire back? Yeah. Yeah. So who's the best of you guys? Yeah, um, I'm the man of the <laughs> You didn't yeah. kill anyone. No, did you? no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you hit some. Who is the killer? Yeah. He hit a lot. Yes, he too. Yeah. You hit a lot today. Yeah. 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 Oh. The, is it yeah. because of yeah. the man whiskey? Of the yeah. Man of the match. Is it because of the whiskey? <laughs> because of the uh, whiskey. Okay. I What's like. A, you like whiskey in all countries. Yes. <laughs> I like ladies. <laughs> 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 Me too. We are friends, My new friend here, we have the same interest. Yes. Whiskey, ladies. And, and art. And, and art. art. Yeah. Yeah. And sport. Yes. Yeah, that's right. You're welcome and then nice to meet you. This because is my last. Last, uh, last one. Uh, <laughs> you need to make it home also. I'm always with this. And I'm still... Uh, and you're still... Yes. Okay. Man of the match. I'm still... Uh, no whiskey, no life. So yes. you never miss the whiskey. Wow. So each, each shot, you take the shot. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Yep. <laughs> 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 Did you drink whiskey? No. Not yet. Yeah. 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 Is it true? Ni sem chulu gawa, ni sem chulu gawa, chi sem galu tewa, chi sem galu tewa. Thank you. So maybe you can marry him with them? Yeah. yeah, we'll consider it for sure. <laughs> no National problem. song of Bhutan. Okay. Pumgi gawa, kan gawa, shagi la me, pechi la me los. Okay, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Right, thank yeah. you, thank you. That's so good. Oh, it's very, very spicy. It's really hard to match the happiness of Bhutan, but we really tried our best. Let's see how strong Bhutan chili is. Oh no! Look at all these chili cones. Oh no! He's going to stop breathing. Wow! 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 wow, wow. wow. He's going to cough. One, two, three, nothing. So you are no, okay? Seriously, it's actually not bad. Have some chili for fertility. Okay. We are in Bhutan. Oh, I love how he's like mixing it up. The combination. Well, the tongue is getting a little bit hotter now. We made it to the capital of Bhutan. So guys, made it to the capital and the largest city of Bhutan, Timpo. Population of around 80,000 people. Very soon, it's time to try a Bhutanese spa, which is my first time trying this. So I'm really curious to see what that's like. Massage time. We are ready to get some Bhutanese massage. <laughs> Hello. Bhutanese. Bhutanese spa. Wow! What a crazy massage. It's good, different, yes. I don't think I tried something like this. Really good, full body, everything. everything. Uh, <laughs> not everything, <laughs> except. She's just answering. Bhutan? Outside Bhutan? Just Bhutan? Only Bhutan. Delicioso. Do you have a country that you don't like? No. Giuliano, my friend, happy birthday. It's your birthday gift. Let's see. Very good. New outfit. So what's the good thing about the capital of Bhutan? The people, the, the culture, and of course now food as well. What's the best food in Bhutan? I should say chili cheese. Chili cheese, yeah. Yeah, yeah. emadasi. <laughs> like real Bhutanese. <laughs> This is the capital of Bhutan. Timbo is beautiful. Timbo is beautiful. And peaceful. The only thing making noise here is dogs barking. One thing which is very special here in Bhutan is there's no traffic lights. The same like Bangladesh? Exactly. Bangladesh disorganized, here organized. That's the difference. Yeah. Move the capital to Timbo in 1960s because of the weather climate. Well, now it's very hot in summer and Thimpu is cooler. So that's why he moved to uh, Thimpu Valley. Okay, this is Druk Wangkil. 
tomorrow we will see the Drop One Girl Festival. Here there are 108 stupas. And here in the background we have a lot of mountains. This culture of Bhutan? How he protect and how he preserve. up. Yeah. Does it require alcohol before? Uh, sometimes. Bhutan is completely in Zen mode. Listen to the song, the mountains. 108 stupas. The views here in Bhutan are absolutely breathtaking. My favorite country is Bhutan only. I have never been to other country. Do you have somewhere you want to go? But I don't have money. No. <laughs> uh, we are practicing for our national day. I always love to see traditional dances. I like every country. I am from Bhutan. Switzerland, yeah. Denmark, they are never in there. Yes, they are similar. It's very near. Yeah, it's and very near. only oceans between Denmark. And pretty much, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. yeah, it's very clean. When you breathe, you, yeah, feel, yeah, yeah, yeah. you feel good? Yes. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Postcards from Bhutan. Yeah. So, happy birthday. I wish you health. Yes. <laughs> oh, very sweet. Oh, thank you, guys. Oh. He's smiling. He owns something. Give him the big banana. Yeah, yeah because they like the bread. Look at the bread! Oh, <laughs> they love the bread! Oh my yes. god! That was really a surprise in Bhutan. The man of Look the house. The chin. It's a good size, Juliano. <laughs> More balls than people. <laughs> white for the general public. Orange for the ministers. Blue for the member of parliament. Only white color we are allowed to wear. So whenever we visit Zong fortress, we must wear a scarf to pay respect. So now I'm in formal dress. So here they use scarf to show their position in society. When you go inside of here, you need to wear white. We are inside of this giant gate. Bhutan. Do you have any country you like? Uh, I prefer Switzerland. Good. Do you have a country you don't like? I don't have any <laughs> This is Ponokasol Fortress. One of the very special ones in this world. Okay. So many places below. Look at this. Bhutan is the country full of surprises. Hello, my friend. How are you? I'm fine. How are you, Good, thanks. Rice. Oh, rice? Okay. Good. Good rice. Okay. They're carrying rice. How heavy is it? 10, 20, 30? More than 20. Thank you. I'm from Denmark. What? Denmark? Denmark? Yeah. Yes, sir. Small country. <laughs> Very strong. <laughs> what do you think, Julian? Yeah. Amazing. Oh, very nice. I'm in love with this country. This is the most holy temple in Bhutan. It's really impressive inside. So there are a lot of fish down there. Do they eat them here in Bhutan? Of course we eat, but uh, fishing is illegal. We are in Punaka in Bhutan. We are entering the Fertility Valley. This is one of the highlights of Bhutan. 
and very soon you'll see why. Look at the funnels. <laughs> very big. Very big, uh... <laughs> No, I'm okay. All right, we are going into the fertility restaurant. Let's see what we have on the menu. Probably some sausages. <laughs> I think Juliano already has a big sausage in his mouth. Did you order sausage? <laughs> is it good? I think this is the place you need to try sausage. Yeah. Peach. Peach, fantastic. Thank you so much. It's right up Very there. Very interesting. Look the view, you know. Which view? So, we are gonna... <laughs> <laughs> Bhutan is very famous for like beautiful hills and we are now in the fertility town. Expect to see many, you know, monuments here that will resemble <laughs> what we think that it is. This is tikka? Mm -hmm. Chicken tikka? Juliano loves it, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. Bhutanese food is perfect. The taste is just crazy, I don't know how they cook it. Yeah, what do you think, Wim? So tasty. So nourishing, I love it. Juliana? So different. You're just looking forward to something else? <laughs> Beautiful, as always. This, wow. No, like this? <laughs> wow. Full fake. It's a beautiful one. Yeah, I like the eyes. Yeah. It's always looking at you. Good shape. <laughs> Big surprises, small surprises, medium surprises. Yeah. I'm from Bhutan. <laughs> Good. Whoa. It's really big. Oh, it's normal in Bhutan? Yeah, yeah. Normal size. This is fertility value? Yeah, fertility <laughs> 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 Bye-bye! 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 Okay guys, it's not every day I say this, but let's go and see some giant penises. Most popular fertility temple in Bhutan, where ladies go if they don't have hope to get a baby, they go here. It has solved a lot of issues, this temple. So here in the shop you can see they have a lot of variety. Whichever color, whichever style that you want. Look at this one. Pardon? Is there anything to be scared of in Bhutan? No. We are very, very, very less crime rates. Yeah. Do you think it's the safest country in the very world? Very safest country to travel. What did you get? At least this one looks like a happy one. Oh, it looks like very happy. Yeah. Because <laughs> others, sometimes they look oh, angry. Thank you. Good thank girl. you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> for the kitchen, yes. For the kitchen, yes. Uh -huh, okay. Yes. Not for the bedroom. <laughs> Sang Chekor Ling. And what is it? Women Monk Temple. Women Monk Temple? Yes. This looks a lot like the Bauda in Nepal, but now we are in Bhutan. Kelindo. Samosa. I think we have a, all of us have an inner monk, this kind of. Definitely. How cozy it looks! Super cozy. Couldn't be better. <laughs> what do you think about this behavior? Cute. Do you have any country you like? I like India. Why India? So, neighbor. Neighbor country. Do you have any country you don't like? <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Can Juliano do it? Let's see. So Happy birthday! Dr. Krima. Dr. Krima. Itere Julianos for Sunday. Kolesano and Tatai Vigami. Kolesano and Tatai Vigami. It's Nyam Rajdenia Tibia Juliano. Yeah, 
Good style? Yeah, yeah. Very good. So does she look like a princess or a hippie? Definitely, she's in a festival mode. It's not allowed to smoke. Good morning everyone, today it's time to go to the annual festival here in Bhutan, Drog Wangil, and we got some news that the royal family, the king of Bhutan, might show up today. It's gonna be very interesting to see what's going to happen. <laughs> As you can see, there are buses and cars coming. A lot of locals will attend this festival. Yes, I am so looking forward to this. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm so excited. Babushka. <laughs> That's a real Russian babushka. Okay, we are going to the festival here in Bhutan only one time a year. It's a bit chilly today. Do you have a rainy season in Bhutan? Oh, yes. <sighs> Hello. Welcome to Bhutan. So we're good. going to the festival. Are you also going? Yeah. Bhutan is good. Yeah. So far we have seen around four or five hundred people. I think it's gonna be a pretty good event for a small country like Bhutan. That's my expectation here. Now we are coming to a big grass field. Someone is playing some instruments. First few steps here. Druk. Druk. Okay. Druk is a dragon. So festivals are very important in Bhutan? Yes. Why? You can see the uh, people, they are wearing beautiful costumes. Festival also is like a uh, family gathering. They have a good time. I think there are around 1,000 people here today. Very cultural, very different. Very unique. Totally focused, that's how it should be. This is unlike anything I've seen before in Bhutan. There are more and more people coming here. So many different costumes here. Twenty ladies swinging from side to side. I just saw the Prime Minister of Bhutan. What an experience! He said happy birthday to you. No, the, she asked you where I come from. I said Brazil, and they started to say, Oh, I'm glad you are here, enjoy the festival. Amazing. And she actually greeted the clothing of uh, Elizabeth. Yes, yeah. she did a compliment to me. Do you like this festival here? Yes, uh, it's my first day here. I've okay. never been here. Wow, really? So yeah, I like the program out here. It's like totally good. <laughs> Very interesting, yeah. Thank you so much. 
This was such an awesome cultural experience here in Bhutan, really different from anything else I've seen in the world. We got to meet the Prime Minister and his First Lady, talk to him, fortunately not allowed to film, but it was so awesome. If you come to Bhutan, maybe consider visiting this festival. How was the experience? It was incredible to meet the Prime Minister, the King's mother, his sister, all of these people that came to visit, yeah. to, you know, to enjoy this festival with their families and the food. Was, it was one of a lifetime experience. One of a lifetime experience. Amazing, possible to be better than this. We are so lucky. And you got a little kiss? Yes, yeah. from the king's mother. So imagine was how it, my cheek is. Was it good? <laughs> it's good. Are you going to wash yourself tonight? I, I feel special. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel very happy. It was very nice. So unique. I'm so glad you had the opportunity to meet the prime minister. Thank, yeah. thank Magic. you. Magical. Magical, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what <deep. laughs> Yeah, Look, 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 I think it's so good. Three beautiful ladies and one beautiful diamond guy. <laughs> the best driver in Bhutan. Number one driver in Bhutan. Are you Bhutanese? Of course. I changed nationality. I'm new citizen of Bhutan. <sighs> Hello, girls. Hi. Oh. Not let go. <laughs> it's time for group hug. Oh. Uh, what? <laughs> Actually, it's a good idea because you're uh, missing. Only Juliano missing. Move like it's that okay. Always. We just what? Move like this? Yeah. Yoga, yoga. Yoga. Let's go. Jet 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 what happened on that sky dive? <laughs> I vomited in the face of that guy. Yeah. <laughs> he looked so pissed yeah. off. Himself yeah. in the face of yeah, that look guy. at his face. He was so pissed off. <laughs> this is the capital of Bhutan. We have been so lucky with sunshine the whole trip here. One thing they have decided here in Bhutan is that the architecture has to be similar, similar patterns and styles. Really beautiful city, actually. This is Timbo, the capital of Bhutan. That's the chili with cheese? Chili with cheese. So is it true you cannot come to Bhutan without trying the green chili with yes. cheese? If you try chili with cheese, you miss Bhutan. You haven't been to Bhutan, so we need to try it. There we go, guys. The full Bhutanese experience. Go Bhutan! Yes. What's your favorite country? Australia. Australia. Do you have any country you don't like? No. Good. Okay, the big moment. Chili cheese in Bhutan. That's the local experience. Yeah. Okay. Lots of chili and cheese. Yeah. Let's see. It's hot. It's hot. Where is the water? Where is the water? Juliano, <laughs> how is it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's nice now. No, I wouldn't eat it. I have to say, I'm very surprised about the Bhutanese cuisine. It's very delicious, a lot of variety. So good. Chimfo is a stronghold of traditional art, culture, traditions, and architecture. What an easy dessert. Very creamy. Chimfo! So, guys, how is Chimfo? It's a peaceful. Very peaceful. Is it very safe? Yes. Do you like to live here? Yes. yes. Are you going to school? Or? Yeah. Would you want, like to like live outside at one point? Or you want to stay in yes. Australia, Canada? We want to go over to Delhi, we want to stay. Yeah, you like it so much? Yes. Souvenir shopping here in Bhutan. Fell in love with this postcard. The little magnet here for the fridge. With the dragon, the symbol of Bhutan. Wow! <laughs> you gonna get that one? <laughs> fertility temple. I got fertility right in my face. Of course, happiness. Bhutan. Your favorite country? <laughs> Outside country. Bhutan, any country? Uh, Korea. Do you have any country you don't like? No. For now, I'm going to use this on my shelf. On the shelf? Yeah. Just on the shelf? 
Of what course. This one is so heavy. <laughs> is Simpo a good city? Yes, it is. <laughs> Why is it good? We have like lots of places, like beautiful places, like fortresses, <laughs> two things. Temples. Temples, yes. What is that? Food plate. For, For food? Food, yes. Rice. Rice. Chili cheese? Yeah. Yeah. Your friend? No. No? <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look. Wow. The colorful oh, streamers that we have. Five elements. Yes. The king. Definitely a must, yeah. And then some cute postcards that sort of reflect Put the on. culture. Yep. Super. The pioneers and the royal couple. The best thing about bringing girls on your group trip, they gave you the leftovers. <laughs> Okay, guys, this is Buta Dortrema, the most impressive. And it's made from the bronze. What a structure. One third of the population here in Bhutan is under the age of 14 and the median age here is 22 years old. Very remarkable, one of the very few countries where it's like that in the world. But why are the people so happy here in Bhutan? Bhutan say no to plastic and everyone you see here, they walk around very slowly. It seems like there's no stress here in this tiny country in Asia. And why do you think people are so happy here in Bhutan? Uh, I think there's culture, I guess. I like the vibe around here, the surrounding is nice. Yeah, we feel relaxed here, happy. Why do you think people are so happy here in Bhutan? Because of the rich culture. They actually have a traffic light here in Bhutan, but it's very different from the usual ones that you probably think of. Unique. This is how it works here in Bhutan. Two guys directing traffic. Take a look. Why are people so happy here in Bhutan? So people, they are happy what they have. Easy life, no rush, simple life. That's the happiness, the goodness people. It's cute, then now, slowly, slowly you can bite. Slowly. Yeah. Mm. Very <laughs> sour. What, what? I had it in Papua New Guinea, feel not. They also eat it in Bhutan. Many Pacific countries, some Asian countries. You see a lot of people here with red teeth, and then you know why. Try to open it again. What? <laughs> I have a whole eel nut inside now. With betel nut, the effect is coming slowly. You have to chew it a lot in the side. Don't swallow it too fast. Actually, in Papua New Guinea, they didn't swallow at all. They spit out after chewing. I like betel nut. The reason why we look a little bit strange is because we are all eating betel nut right now. Do you want to see? Oh, it's green. You're going to smell it. It's mint. Mm, good. So which type of bath are we going to take now? Hardestone bath. Traditional hardstone bath. Okay. It's always interesting to try a traditional bath, this time in Bhutan. You can hear the girl screaming on the other side. <laughs> We're taking a bath in Bhutan. You can literally see the smoke coming up. And the smell is quite good with these mint leaves. Juliana is on the other side naked. <laughs> it's not too bad. You, you got a cold one. They made a cold one. Oh, it's really good. It's really good. Ah, it's good now. Man. Are you sure that mine is hot? You want to try this one? <laughs> Yours even smoke. Yes, yeah, see my smoke. Mine does not have smoke coming out. That's why. So Yuliana, yeah, no, he got a cold tub, I got a hot tub. <laughs> so I was lucky. <laughs> no sore muscles in Bhutan. No, it's very good. It's a different experience. It's the first time that I had a bath in a wood bath. The heat makes you to relax more. Ara. You ready for yes. some Ara? Yes. Okay. Cheers. Well, how high is the alcohol percentage? You distilled, no chemical added, organic. It's made from the rice and the wheat. Let's enjoy all of it. Yeah. Let's enjoy it. Sauj. 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 How was it? Beautiful. It's okay. Yeah, it's, it's good. good. Why are people so happy here in Bhutan? Because we are satisfied. We are not under design. We are satisfied with uh, what we have. So what are we drinking? No, no, no. 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 We're gonna make Maybe a wish. Make a wish, okay? Yeah, make a wish. Make a wish, okay? Yeah. Okay, yes. Tashi Dele! Tashi Dele! Tashi Dele! Tashi Dele! Tashi Dele! Tashi Dele! Good help Ooh. to everyone. Good help. Beam is in a good mood now. <laughs>
Do you miss slow? Was it strong for this one? It's not. Okay, you I'll can take have. Okay. okay, I want to make a chest for you guys. But I believe in one thing. What is life? Comedy is a pleasure. Life is a comedy for those who think, and life is a tragedy for those who feel. A person who feel life is a comedy, they will just think about the life. And person who think about uh, person who feel about the life, it is a tragedy. What do you say about it? Is your life? Is your life? Is your life? And his life? And his life? And his life? And my life? You have to live with the society. As, as a doctor. Sometimes I want to help people. So what's the purpose of life? Is to live every second, to live every minute, because we don't know our following day. And what we have learned from Bhutan, we need to be happy, because the life is easier for the happy people. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so for me, it's all about being compassionate and understanding people's situation and how they must feel. And then I show kindness in return. Uh, understanding. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. As you can hear, everyone has been super happy with the trip. Bhutan is definitely a must visit country. How was the trip? <laughs> it's memorable, fantastic, great food, great people, great festivities. Very good. And I think I got a window now in this flight. I wish we could have another trip soon. Tiger's Nest was a highlight, being able to climb up 900 meters, never been done by me. It was excellent here in fairy tale. It was one of the most significant trips in my life. It'll be a trip that I'll never forget. Tell us, Gustav, how did you think of this trip? It was amazing, everything went according to plan and we got to see so many extra things in Bhutan that normal people don't get to see. Airport lounge in Bhutan. So we are lounging in Bhutan. <laughs> We deserve it, right? Um, yeah. Well, there is nobody in the reception.